So after recently giving away 10 regular Fennex, you guys seem to love it. So I just bought 24 more, which I'm going to be giving away on the channel on the road to half a million subs. And every single week, I'm going to select one random person that is subbed to the channel to win a free Fennex. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed. That is literally it and it's completely free. So today is going to be the guide on how to never get scammed ever again from a middleman trade. And we're also going to be helping out my buddy with my dream item. guys so welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always and today we're going to be explaining what a middleman is what the purpose is and how to avoid getting scammed every single time so despite the fact i'm not technically a certified middleman every single middleman job i have done in the past 100 percent of the time has gone through very smoothly and today i'm going to be talking about like i said the purpose and how to avoid it at all costs if you do want to stick around on the channel for giveaways and literally to make sure you're not getting scammed on rocket league ever again make sure you are subscribing to the channel for completely free also drop a like if you want to see more videos like this in the future and yeah let's jump straight into it Quickly, before we do jump into this video, I'd love to give a huge shout out to the fan favorite sponsor on the channel, AOA.com. So I've been working with these guys for several years now, and they're the fastest and most reliable place to pick up any Rocket League item. And by using the code in the description, you are going to get yourself 6% off every single purchase. Right, so the necessary need to actually have a middleman in a trade is basically going to be a guy on the side to collect all of the items at once. If it's a code, obviously, they collect all of the credits like I'm doing right here. If it's like a massive item bulk trade, that's what they do. But I'll go, I'm going to run through what's going on, because there's a lot of scams going around at the moment. So for this specific trade right here, it was 100,000 pure credits for an Emerald Pro code. Obviously, he had to go to the RLCS ages ago, and this guy checked his emails and found a code right there. Big, big W for him, to be fair. But obviously, yeah, basically what happened is I made a group chat, so it's a great way to obviously interact and just talk to people in there, make sure everyone knows what's going on. And another amazing thing to do is take a screenshot of your credits before trades. Obviously, if it's items, it's a little bit different, but I obviously put a screenshot that I've got 4,000 credits, and as soon as the trade actually got completed, I chucked in the screenshot of 104k. Obviously, in no way at all is that really needed, but it just brings a layer of safety on there to obviously make sure everyone knows what's going on. And the guy that's obviously giving away the code can see that I've got the credits right there for him. So he sends over the code. Obviously, I'm not going to show the code because that'll be 100,000 credits down the drain for the other guy. But basically, the code was all good. And then the 100,000 credits got chalked over to the other person. And that's basically what a middleman does. Just make sure everything goes through all right. And obviously, on the, what is it? The Trade Central Discord, which I can recommend more than anything because you can see where people are actually like really legit middlemen. And practically 99% of them have a lot of reputation in there. And basically, yeah, it, obviously my reputation went up a little bit. Literally the best middleman I know on the planet is going to be Dr. Prof. And you can see his reputation right there. Plus 2,000. So he's middleman, 2,000 trades. And honestly, he's made such a big name in the community. And yeah extremely trusted. So I'm going to leave a link down below to the Trade Central Discord. If you want to check it out, you obviously can do because yeah, middleman is quite a big job sometimes and there's a lot of scams going around. So I want every single one of you to be safe. With Rocket League bringing out that massive cap where you can't trade over 10,000 credits, it's more essential than ever that you listen to me right now and be careful when you're doing middleman trades. Find people you can trust 100%. Don't just go trust like some, some people that say, oh, I've got a middleman that's really like trusted and then just trust some absolute randy. Just make sure it's all legit, go through correctly. I've seen TikTok scammers all over the place so just make sure you're not trusting any of them and I reckon you'll be good to go. So this was one of my most recent middleman trades I did where basically one of my friends was selling like practically the whole entire Revenant Master Set, which if you don't know, extremely rare OG Will from the Haunted Halo series and got himself, I do believe, like 2,500 decals, which were mostly rares to be fair and a few other RCS stuff. But yeah, we're going to talk a little bit more on how to avoid scammers and who to actually trust in this community. But for me, myself, I don't mind doing middleman trades whenever I can. It's just most of the time, obviously, we're doing daily Rocket League videos, occasionally streaming and so much more. It's quite difficult to obviously like get a time to middleman but obviously if you type in my twitch chat when i'm live more than likely i'm going to respond but nothing oh my god okay i need to talk about this as well there's impersonators all over the place literally this is me last night typing in zenic and then of obviously my game attack is zenic official and i've got 65,000 followers but look at the amount of fake accounts like it is literally laughable. I was screen sharing. My whole friends were literally in hysterics at the amount of fake accounts there are. If you are trusting someone that's got like a name for themselves in the community, just make sure it's that right person. Because I know Dr. Prof has got an impersonator at the moment. And I know some of the other like big middlemen have got loads of like fake accounts on Xbox and like even PS4, Steam all over the place. So just make sure you're being careful. Get them in a party. Obviously talk to them and try that way because yeah talking in a party scammers hate being in parties these days i don't know what it is so if you can obviously get in a party talk about it more than likely you're going to be a little bit more safe so this next one's going to be a striker decennium set trade that i'd obviously middleman in the previous like year i do believe and he got himself so many items obviously tiger you may have seen him before good friend of mine on the channel and yeah honestly only use the middleman if it is 100 necessary let's just say you're like buying an item for like eleven thousand credits and the guy wants 1k first 
that's a red flag immediately. Just try and pay like an item that's worth a little bit more than a thousand credits. So it's like an item overpay and do it that way. Because it's more than, like you're more than likely going to get scammed if you try obviously like go past that 10k border and just give them the items or the credits first. So just make sure you're trying to do everything at like your cost. So if it's a stranger, obviously, to try and not get scammed. Then we move on to my biggest middleman job I think I've done in my whole entire life. Honestly, this was so big at the time. And this was my first ever, like, viral video from a middleman trade. And it's when I did five white emeralds and 150 credits. Or not credits. Keys, I do believe, for some white apex, which was certified. I do believe they were tactician certified, which was huge at the time. And it normally would be really risky to saying out names that you can actually trust. Because let's just say I put a trust in telling you guys to trust them. And then it backfires. That falls back on me. So the people I'm going to say you can trust. It's going to be Sun as Heat Wave. Obviously, most of you guys know who he is. 100% you can trust him. I've given him Alpha Boost several times. And then I would say Dr. Prof. And who else is there? There's a few others I, I could mention, but for the fact I don't want to get cancelled, I'm going to leave it there. So, Dr. Prof, if you can definitely get in contact with him, he's more than happy most of the time if he's not at work. And Sun as Heat Wave, I can literally trust my whole entire inventory on the spot. Like I said, there's literally hundreds of people that are really trusted in that Discord server. So, you've got to go through and just find like people that have got good reputation. Talk in general if you do want to sort out a middleman trade. If it's something quite smaller, you can obviously trust someone that's not as like high up i guess but if it's a massive trade you're doing for it like let's just say like an emerald pro for example because they're they're trending right now i don't really know why hmm i'm joking but still yeah just make sure you're being careful obviously that discord server's going to show the reputation of everyone so it's a great way to have like find people because most of the time these days tiktok can't trust anymore rocket league trading post is okay but you gotta find the right people and yeah i honestly don't even know what else i forgot this one to be fair but it's an alpha cap one which i did casually i do believe like a couple of weeks ago i was just in the party and this guy was like yo can you help me with an alpha cap trade i was like sure and bang practically there on the spot but i guess if you if you know the people in real life let's just say there's three people in a party you all know in real life and you want to do a middleman there you can trust that but like i said you just gotta be careful who you're trusting because there's people on tiktok that had like hunt like tens of thousands of followers and threw it all the way in the bin for just scamming so you just gotta be careful you trust these days so yeah there's definitely different levels to it so like the smaller ones are like i've got a fennec code oh i've got a skyline code and they just don't they're gonna take your items and that's gonna be it but obviously yeah the people that try and scam like higher items let's just say it's gonna be like a pro code or it's a big middleman job that they want transferring it's gonna be a scam so just make sure you're being careful obviously get the people that you can trust and obviously see their reputation on the line and bang i think you should be okay of course dropping a like on the video really is appreciated because I just want to put it out there that they're scammers and you just need to be careful on this game and subscribe if you are new for daily Rocket League content and yeah I guess I'll see you all tomorrow